your WCBI First Alert AccuWeather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Keith Gibson. Some active weather across our region this afternoon. Let's check out the latest with our Doppler radar here as we zoom on into Columbus, Lowndes County. We have that severe thunderstorm warning that does continue here for the next couple of minutes, at least until 630. I think that warning will be allowed to expire, but we've had some wind gusts up to about 39 or 40 at the Air Force Base in Columbus, about 30 at GTR. So there are some gusty breezes in this, not the worst storm we've ever had, uh, but there you have it, some wind, uh, maybe up to about 40, maybe 45 here still, especially the northern part of this uh, near the base, southern parts of Monroe County. So that mixed in with some heavy downpours. This is rumbling to the east at about 30 miles per hour. Uh, so those of you from uh, southern Lamar County into Pickens County and southern parts of Monroe County, you are going to be getting in on the action here. Uh, a few other showers and thunder showers back to the northwest. These are not too terribly strong, but we have some downpours out there right along I-55 north of Grenada and also here lighting up right along US 278 from Oxford to Pontotoc right now, so we could still see some rain up there in the Tupelo area. We have a second batch of gusty storms down here from Carthage to Newton. Uh, these are spinning back to the northeast. There's a severe thunderstorm warning down here, including Neshoba County and Kemper County until 730. Wind gusts up to about 60 possible with that little arc, and assuming it moves at that speed, that could be approaching Louisville by 7 o'clock. So uh, another storm could be getting into parts of Winston County here with in the hour. Uh, this may lose its luster, lose some steam as it comes to the northeast, but we will continue to monitor it. So uh, pretty active across the region out there on our Thursday afternoon. Down to 79 in Columbus, as I mentioned, we had that gust up to about 40 miles per hour. Uh, we lost our temperature sensor here in Louisville, but we are much cooler than where we were, uh, probably in the 70s in the wake of the storms. 83 in Tupelo, where we haven't had any recent rain. And for you in Vernon, still 83 degrees. We're watching that. That is that arc of Storminess leaving Columbus heading towards West Alabama. So we have storms across the region now. A lot of this will be fading away as we get into the early evening. So we would expect a lot of this to go away after 8 o'clock, but we will likely see more scattered showers and storms in the region for the next couple of days here. Let's go right to your AccuWeather 70 forecast. Mid 80s Friday, Saturday could be a little bit warmer if you don't see these storms right away. Around 90 for Sunday and Monday, even into Tuesday. But scattered storms are possible each and every day out of the next seven.